Top 5 Best Presents Scientists Create Hot Sauce from the Most Unlikely Source From suicide wings to ghost pepper potato chips, spice enthusiasts are always challenging themselves to try the hottest foods on Earth. From a distance, it may seem like self-abuse, but enthusiasts say that the burning and stomach cramps are worth every second. And there are no shortage of festivals or challenge videos to provide an outlet to those daring souls and those who can't help watching them sweat. But today we're going to learn all about a team of scientists who are trying to take hot sauce to a whole new level. Before we begin, do us a favor by clicking that like button and subscribe to our channel for more real life stories every day. Stephen Trim earned a degree in genetics from Avery Swift University in Wales before spending a decade with pharmaceutical giant Pfizer. But his most fascinating work may have started when he founded Venom Tech. Scientists at the Kent Drug Discovery Company decided to inspire budding young scientists by using the lab and their decades of research to develop a hot sauce unlike anything you've ever tasted. Through his work with arachnids, Trim stumbled upon the realization that venom from the Trinidad Chevron, a type of tarantula, would trigger the same flavor response as a wide variety of peppers. In other words, Trim was certain that tarantula venom was spicy. The revelation set off a chain of events that resulted in a partnership with Stefano Kumo, the managing director of Macnade Fine Foods. After an initial conversation on the subject, they found that fate wasn't about to let them drop the idea. Trim admits that he considered it pretty insane, saying, quote, I did think it was crazy. I laughed it off at the time and said it was hilarious to do. Nobody has been foolish enough to try the venom. But we kept bringing it up when we bumped into each other over the year. Creating the sauce would mean that Trim and his team of four would turn to researching the spider's venom from a more flavor-based standpoint than they had before. While no one was about to taste the venom directly, they could learn a lot by isolating the amino acids responsible for flavor, known as peptides. But how would they get their hands on those peptides? Well, lucky for Kumo, Trim's lab happened to contain around 300 spiders. He described the process of acquiring the venom, saying, We use a light anesthesia so that when the spider is asleep, we can use a tiny electrical stimulation. It just contracts the muscles around the venom glands, and that extracts the venom harmlessly. Once they had what they needed, the pair presented their concept to the Food Standards Agency, the government department in charge of food regulations throughout England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. But when they did, they quickly learned that it would cost around 20,000 pounds, or about 27,000 American, to determine if the venom was safe for human consumption in a sauce. Unfortunately, the hefty price tag presented a little bit of a roadblock for the pair, but they weren't about to give up. If they couldn't produce the true thing just yet, they would set about making the best synthetic version of the venom possible. With science on their side, they developed a formula to mimic the Scoville rating of the Trinidad Chevron venom. This synthesized version is intended to raise capital for funding tests on the authentic venom-based sauce, meaning every bottle they sell brings them closer to the real thing. The duo sold around 300 units in the first four months, and they hope it won't be long before they are making it with the genuine venom. On the flavor, Trim described it saying, it's hot, so for people who are big chili fans, they often say it could be hotter, and for people who aren't, they say it's hot. So it's nicely in the middle. People who really like their chilies often say it's really warm. He goes on to say, Our aim for this was to make something that, over and above the science, is a really good product. Apparently, the sauce pairs well with curries and quesadillas, and there are plans to release a mayonnaise-based version known as Venomaze later in 2019. Spiders and hot sauce are definitely two things that are too intense for a lot of people and it's possible that some hot sauce lovers may be immediately put off by the mention of an arachnid venom on their dinner plate. Even if venom makes you a bit uncomfortable, it may actually be a gateway to medical miracles, as Steve Trim's team is also investigating the venom's potential as a pain reliever and an anti-malarial compound. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to tap on one of the two videos on screen for another amazing story. Until next time.